गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास नाइन टूडे वी विल टेक द साउंड ऑफ म्यूजिक लाइन बाय लाइन एक्सप्लेनेशन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई डिस्कस द समरी ऑफ दिस स्टोरी सो टुडे आई विल टेक लाइन बाय लाइन एक्सप्लेनेशन रश आवर क्राउड जोशल फॉर पोजीशन ऑन द अंडरग्राउंड ट्रेन प्लेटफॉर्म ए स्लाइड गर्ल लुकिंग यंगर देन हर सेवेंटीन ईयर्स was nervous yet excited as she felt the vibration of the approaching train it was her first day at the prestigious royal academy of music in london and daunting enough for any teenager fresh from a scottish farm but this aspiring musician faced a bigger challenge than most and she was profoundly deep rush hour uh, a time when usually travel जोसल पुश रफली पुश डॉन्टिंग फ्राइटनिंग यस इन दिस पैराग्राफ द सीन ऑफ द प्लेटफॉर्म हैज़ बीन डिस्क्राइब एज शी वॉज स्टैंडिंग ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म दे अब जोसल एंड देयर वॉज ए स्लाइट गर्ल स्लाइट गर्ल थिन एंड ए स्मॉल गर्ल लुकिंग यंगर दैन हर सेवेंटीन ईयर्स आल दो शी वॉज सेवेंटीन ईयर्स बट लुकिंग मच यंगर and she was nervous at that time and excited also when the train reached there she felt the vibration of the train it was her first day at the prestigious prestigious famous having reputation uh, prestigious royal academy of music in london and daunting enough daunting means she was afraid also for any teenager fresh from a scottish farm she was from the scotland but this aspiring musician faced a bigger challenge than most she was profoundly deaf profound uh, she was profoundly deaf uh, she, uh, she was profoundly means extreme completely Death. Evelyn Glennie's loss of hearing had been gradual, gradual, slowly. Her mother remembers noticing when something was wrong. When the young, uh, when the eight-year-old Evelyn was waiting to play the piano, they called her name, and she didn't move. I suddenly real realized she hadn't heard. Now her mother remember one incident when she was. Uh, she was said that it was her turn but she didn't listen to play the piano at the first time she realized that she hadn't heard says isabel glenny isabel glenny her mother for quite a while evelyn managed to conceal conceal means hide her growing deafness from friends and teacher but she tried to hide her deafness from the friends and teachers but when she was 11 years old when she was 11 her marks had deteriorated her marks also started to come less and her head ministry had mistress heard her parents to take her to a specialist after that she went to the specialist and it was di discovered that she was severely impaired impaired weak because of the gradual nerve damage they were advised that she should be fitted with hearing aid and sent to school for the deaf now everything suddenly become black she became very surprised uh, suddenly she became black but evelyn was not going to give up she didn't disappoint she determined to lead a normal life and continue her interest in music one day she noticed a girl is playing xylophone seeing that she also decided that she wanted to play it most of the teachers discouraged her but there was one person ron forbes who was a percussionist he spotted her potential and 
he began by tuning two large drum to different notes and now he said that you have to listen he trained evelian to sense the music through different parts of the body suddenly she became excited to feel the vibration she never looked back from that point onward she toured the united kingdom with the youth orchestra and by the time she was 16 now she was 16 years old and she toured the united kingdom with the youth orchestra and <coughs> she decided to make music her life she also performed <coughs> auditioned for the royal academy of music and scot <coughs> <coughs> one of the highest marks in history of academy and now after that she also three years course she had captured most of the top awards and also started to give solo performances and for this evelyn didn't accept any hint of heroic achievement and she said she believed in that if you work hard you will be able to get success and she because of that she reached to the top the world's most sought after multi precautionist with the mastery mastery of some thousand instrument and hectic international schedule although her schedule was very hectic but she was able to reach there it is intriguing to watch intriguing fascinating to watch evelian function so effortlessly without hearing in one two hour discussion she never it, this one incident has been discussed here it was a two hour conversation but she didn't miss any word there she was so aware as for music she explains it pours in through every part of my body she said she could feel the vibration of the music from the every part it touches in the skin her cheek bones even in the hair when she plays xylophone she can sense the sound passing up the stick into fingers in this way she can feel now not surprisingly evil evelian delights her audience she also delights her audience she presented in royal Phila philharmonic society prestigious soloist of the year award and she won many awards evelian admit that she is something of a workaholic workaholic we should be work she didn't take rest without doing work so we can say that she is a workaholic also i have just got to work but the rewards are very as you can see in this you can see in this story she begged the royal philharmonic society's prestigious soloist of the year she toured the world for her concern she became a kind of workaholic and she also gave free concert in prisons and hospitals evelyn soon became became a shining star and inspirations for not only the disabled one but for all in this way she touched the heights of the sky thank you students